thank you. So, so uh, true story. I write a lot of material about sex. Uh, I'm a fan. I like Sex's first record. I thought it was impressive. It really changed the way we interact with one another and really just kind of set the template moving forward. Impressive work. But like, I like Sex's new stuff too. I feel like sex has found a way to continue staying, like pushing the envelope and staying relevant in this media-soaked age. Good job, Gina. sex. <laughs> My favorite thing about it is what a customizable experience it is for all of us. Like you can throw, yeah, you can throw in anything you want to customize it. Like you can throw in food <laughs> or like mascot uniforms <laughs> or like six other people. What up, Columbus? <laughs> and that's great, but none of that stuff is required. If everybody's on board with it, awesome. But you don't need any of that stuff. That stuff's all just bells and whistles. Garnish, yep. sprinkles. <laughs> There's only one thing that's actually required for sex. Just one, just one. And that is what this song is about. This song came out on a record several years ago called Sex Rhymes, which was a concept album, and the concept was sex rhymes. <laughs> What you get into? I just wanna bounce about and have some fun with you. There's something wild behind your smile, I see it trickle through. Maybe we can teach each other a new trick or two. So where to? My place or yours or anywhere where we can get behind closed doors. I'll let them go and grab us up a cap, but before that, I must ensure that everything is well above board. Yeah, here's my full name. Here's my address, in case you want to send it to your best friend in a text. Let them know where you're going, who you're with, and when you leave. Maybe ask them if there's anything they've heard about me. We've had a couple drinks tonight. Are you impaired? Are you stumbling? Are you fucked up? Or are you aware? Coherent? Quite capable of making decisions? Well, then cool. I'll keep asking for conviction. And we go one, one two, two, three, 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 four. Three, four. Though you weren't say yes, I'm gonna need a little more. I know you want it. When you react to the tent, but first I need that. Enthusiastic consent. If we go four, three, three, two, and two, one. I'll be checking, checking in, even after. So we're done, but before we progress, stop, before we undress, I'm gonna need a lot more than a yes. I don't see the mere fact that you've with me as a sealed contract of a sexual certainty. It doesn't matter what you said when you were sexing me, it only matters if you say it when you're next to me. And I don't care if you've done it before, or if earlier we made up on the dance floor, or if tonight you change your mind, fall asleep, or say stop, then that's when this stops. But this isn't just about your consent to my desires Let's talk about what you want and what lights your fire You want pegging, I'm into in it, legging, I'm into it Are you interested in pegging, into it This could be amazing, but the third to assuage Good giving and game, on the same page Everything in black and white, crystal clear as the day No blurred lines, no shades of gray One, one two, 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 three, into three, the four Though you were to say yes, I'm gonna need a little more I don't want it, when you react to the tent But first I need that, enthusiastic consent And we go four, four, three, three, two, and two, one Call it check it, check it in, even after we're done But before we progress, stop, before we undress I'ma need a lot more than a yes We go five, six, six, seven to the eight, eight No needs, no is never up for debate And the lack of a no isn't the same as a yes And a yes isn't the same as an oh my god, yes If that sentiment is expressed, can indulge to excess Or only caress, but before we progress, stop, before we undress I'ma need a lot more than a yes When I ask you wanna, you say yes You wanna? Yes! Wanna? Yes! When I ask, this okay? You say, oh yes! This okay? Oh yes! This okay? Oh yes! When I ask, into it? You say, fuck yes! Into it? Fuck yes! Into it? Fuck yes! When I ask, keep going? You say, no! Keep going? No! Oh, well then this is done! <laughs> See how easy that is? <laughs> Look, please tell your friends. <laughs> And let's be clear here, I'm gonna make this crystal clear. I am speaking to the cis dudes in the room. Women and trans folks do not need to be reminded of the dangers they face. Ha 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 they're aware. But it's always some cis dude who doesn't seem to get it, who wants to kick in the door on the comments of like your heart-wrenching Me Too post to be like, I never did anything bad and I've never felt in danger. And apparently I'm Yoda. <laughs> 
<laughs> the fact that one of five American women can expect to be sexually assaulted in her lifetime is not only horrific and unforgivable, but guess what? That shit is on us fellas. So when I say tell your friends, I mean tell your fellow cis dude friends, especially Tyler. <laughs> I don't know if you really know a Tyler. Fuck Tyler. But you definitely know a Tyler. And he's the one who kicks in the door that aforementioned thing and says like, but not all men. I heard one story about a false accusation. Whatever happened to due process? You know what? Shut the fuck up, Tyler. Look, baby boy, bring it in. I know that it's important to you that you feel you've carved out this identity for yourself as this edgy internet provocateur who's providing counterpoint in these conversations that nobody could have possibly thought of before you crawled out of a bus toilet. But that's not true. You don't bring anything productive, helpful, or interesting. You're just another dime a dozen Reddit basement edgelord. And the most interesting thing you've ever done is when you shut the fuck up. Anyway, TLDR, believe people when they tell you that somebody hurt them. Thank you. Uh, that is the end of the soapbox portion of my set, I promise you. It gets really dumb again really fast. Like really soon, right away, immediately if not sooner. This is a completely accurate inventory of everything in my pockets. Four and three and two and one, one. I got a lot, I got a lot of pockets. And in my pockets, I got a lot of objects. Oh, anything you want, I bet I probably got it. Because I got an awful lot of my pockets. I got a lot, I got a lot of pockets. And in my pockets, I got a lot of objects. Maybe I'm a hoarder, whatever you call it, but yeah. I got a lot of stuff in my pockets. What I'm always telling you, PKW. Phone keys, wallet, lot of PKW. I'm running through an inventory of my pockets. Phone keys, wallet, wallet, keys, phone, wallet. Got it. Check them off the list and see what we missed. I got a cool mint splitzer and a Listerine mist. Next to a chapstick flavor original. Four black rubber gloves. I ain't even kidding, y'all. I got a handkerchief and half a pack of chiclets. A gold adapter and some old raffle tickets. Eleven ultralights left in a pack of fresh pick lighter. What color is it? Black, duh. A paper clip, a Dwayne Reed receipt. Apple earbuds and a couple of beats. A fine point rollerball, a notebook too, in which I wrote these lyrics and drew pictures of dicks. I got a lot, I got a lot of pockets. And in my pockets, I got a lot of objects. Oh, anything you want, I bet I probably got it. Because I got an awful lot of my pockets. I got a lot, I got a lot of pockets. And in my pockets, I got a lot of objects. Maybe I'm a hoarder, whatever you call it, but yeah, I got a lot of stuff in my pockets. And if it gets intense, I've got a leather collar. I've got 50 cents and 47 dollars. A lucky talisman, a foot from a rabbit, son. Half a dozen bullets, so I never really had a gun. Cookie fortune with a sick prediction. 60 doses each of my six prescriptions. A macaroni poster that a little kid made. A switchblade comb, also got a switchblade. Broken bracelet, it states I'm living fabulous. A room key card from the Hyatt, Minneapolis. I got a hammer, I got a power sander, and a mid condition 82 Cobra Commander. I got power chargers and batteries for days. Nine volts. Cells, triple double A's and an accurate schematic for a nuclear bomb and an autograph photograph of me and your mom. Oops, I got a lot, I got a lot of pockets. And in my pockets, I got a lot of bomb chicks. Oh, anything you want, I bet I probably got it. Because I got an awful lot of my pockets. I got a lot, I got a lot of pockets. And in my pockets, I got a lot of bomb chicks. Maybe I'm a hoarder, whatever you call it. But yeah, I got a lot of stuff in my pockets. Wait, pockets. I got a lot of pockets. Your mom. I got some coasters and coke mirrors and frisbees. Every CD, every local band never kicks me. I got a sailboat, it's got a missing rudder, got a loaf of bread, container of milk, stick of butter, untouched 35 millimeter print of Star Wars, a peanut butter cup, a couple of car doors, from a DeLorean, a portrait of Dorian. I got a bunch of live goddamn scorpions. I got a mannequin and a jack o' lantern, a bottle of Pinot and a glass decanter. I got bed bugs, a slug bug, and a pair of pliers. I got earplugs, a butt plug, I'm wearing a wire. Full set of horseshoes and a pony bridle. An ice sculpture of a moose on a motorcycle. The Mona Lisa crafted in ceramic beads. Got a pepperoni pizza and a bag of weed. And that's it. That's everything in my pocket. So, uh, 
I'm going to give you all some, some advice, and you can hit me up for this advice later. But I, back in New York, I have pets. I have two cats. Yeah. I have two hairless cats. Yeah, sphinxes. They're, I guess you would say, I believe your generation says, necky boys. Is that how we talk internet now? I have two hairless cats, and I got them because I've, been a, I've had cats my whole life. But I got these two because I thought, oh, these will be like cats, but easier because I won't have to deal with hair. How wrong I was. <laughs> if you are considering adopting a hairless cat, here are the things that nobody told me. One, they require weekly baths. Yeah, because otherwise their bodies develop a thin, thin layer of oil and it leaves a brown spot in the shape of a cat on all of your purple furniture. <laughs> and guess what? They don't know they're hairless, but they're pretty fucking sure they're a cat because giving them a bath makes them act as though they are being executed every week for the rest of your life. Two, as a breed, they have a, a huge uh, problem with the concept of covering up in their litter box or cleaning themselves after using it. Additionally, they're poops are like biological warfare. It is absolutely nightmarish. They never clean. So you have to follow them around and wipe them afterwards because otherwise they'll hang out on all of your cool purple furniture. I was not aware that I was going to have a toddler. I thought I was going to have a self-sustained pet. I was wrong. Three, they never ever shut the fuck up. My cat Roger screams at me all day long. So much that for the past three years, I've started every day. The first words out of my mouth, as soon as I start stirring, have been, shut the fuck up, Roger. And I feel like I need to apologize to Lars because I feel like it's so ingrained that on this tour, I've probably woken up in some hotels in like Orlando. Shut the fuck up, Roger. And Lars has no idea what's going on. Yeah, um, this is especially horrifying in the morning when I wake up and Roger's already perched upon my naked chest, screaming into my face as though to say, Father, I just used a litter box and I did not clean myself and now I am sitting on your naked skin. P.S. There is a war crime waiting for you in the litter box. So look, if you think you're up for the challenge, maybe you want to have a hairless cat. Maybe you wish you had a Halloween decoration you could leave up all year long that like made a wish on a Zoltar machine to turn into like a pink wingless gargoyle who just shits and screams all day. Yeah, look into a sphinx. If you want additional notes, please message me because I will tell you what I should have asked years ago. I adopted one of them too, and then he was lonely and screamed all day. So I got a second one. <laughs> all right, I, I didn't come here to, I should do this with my therapist. Um, that said, old habits die hard, and this is mostly material. I still love my stinky little hairless rat boys very much. And the worst thing about being on the road is how much I miss them. So now, yeah, stop it. I have a reputation to protect as a dark lord. I would like to dedicate this song to my sweet boys back in Queens. This song came out on a record I put out in 2007 called Mark of the Beast. And this one goes out to my boys Henry and Roger, who you can follow on Instagram at Roger is Naked. This song is called Cat People. You know... On second thought, I don't even believe in them need a treatment and Peter for being beat by beef eating demons from Cleveland. I'm bleeding on the street, beat, bleeding like sheep. And so she beat up my teeth and my breathing, heathen, and even I'm reason. I mean, it's even from the evil I'm seeing, breathing between beans without feelings and names like Ethan and Stephen and Seaton. All the Seaton cheating, they'll be defeated. When the heathen species into my feet, my fever's peaking, I'll be sieged. They'll be healing me with jeeps. We'll be tweaking by weekend, the secret sinking, I'll be seeking and sweet. Peaking the people, see I'm seeking for the demons. Freaks the geek, the meek, the weak men will see me and be leaving the end. I told you it was gonna happen. Hello, friend. What's your name? Becca? Thank you so much. Are you having a good time? Awesome. Thank you so much for coming to our show tonight. Uh, uh, are you excited about the, the next two acts, too? Double Clicks and Lars? Stop it. Wait, I have to do a thing real quick. I'm sorry. When I came and shook your hand, did you get the feeling that you'd been introduced to a nice man? And did my eye contact and winning smile leave you disarmed? Were you taken by my charm? Well, it was all bullshit. Ooh, snap! Oh, God.
I wear a sheep suit tailored for a wild dog. As I hawk and aw shucks, repeat the tube and buy it. A Trojan horse, bait and switch, which behind to hide a vile, in driven demon with no remorse or feelings. Only give a shit about one guy, and he is me and I. Can't stand my friends, don't respect my fans. A devil on another level, you can't understand. Such a cat, I ought to rock a fanny pack of the doom rag. Oop, man, I'm a total douchebag. Yeah, and all the people go, please just say it isn't so. You're really so nice, right, bro? No, I'm a bad man. I'm a very bad man. I'm a very, very bad, bad man. And all my people see only what they want to see. Trust me, you don't want to trust me. Cause see, I'm a bad man. I'm a very bad man. I'm a very, very bad man. Look you in the eye and I will chuckle while you weep Spend the night, I'll slip dollars out your wallet while you sleep I'll take a sex tape, maybe one that me and an ex made Digitize it, drop box it to her, then the next day Call her up, ask her if she wants to get back together Whatever she says, I'll giggle that her sister was better Never keep a secret, nor an allegiance And yeah, I'll gladly dance around you while I'm screaming the meanest shit Children run in fear while I'm near Gus and Napius. I explain the Santa myth to little kids I babysit I don't believe in God, I will never go to heaven I think I might have even had a hand in 9-11 And I got a lot of hey, wait, whoa, what? Too soon? Quit your crying boo-hoo You don't like it, screw you and you too All of you, you fell for a trick You're even worse than me if you admire me Cause I'm a prick And everybody I've ever met begins to cry They realize I'm not a nice guy And that I'm a bad man Ooh, I'm a very bad man I'm a very, very bad and every friend and fan I've ever had is very sad You've all been had by a bad scam Damn, I'm a bad man I'm a very bad man da na 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 bad man I never paid a compliment I actually meant You know I've never done a thing without malicious intent Cause I'm detestable, despicable My ways will make you sick until you can't believe you ever spoke to me I'm a miserable backstabber All of my colleagues are bad rappers Diss them to their fans I go in bad and ask them What's the matter? Crack an AIDS joke All of y'all will find appalling Punch an eight-year-old in the mouth For talking during Wally While I'm taking great joy and toy with other people's lives Cheating on my with my weight what wife I relish breaking bad news to rooms of cancer patients Explain to babies where they come from with some illustrations One day you'll heed these words and stay away from me But for now you're all just fawning fans Hey buy a CD I'm a cheat, a thief, a user You know this is true or is it? Cause I'm kind of a compulsive liar too and all the people go please just say it isn't so You're really so nice right bro? No I'm a bad man I'm a very bad man Ha 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 and all my people see only what they want to see Trust me, you don't want to trust me Cause see, I'm a bad man I'm a very bad man Oh, I'm a very, very bad man Thank you, Becca <laughs> And also the rest of you, too Mostly Becca <laughs> Alright, I've got one song left No, no, don't listen The other acts can hear you when you do that <laughs> And also, since I'm handing out spoilers tonight, during MC Lars' set later, I'm gonna come up and do, do a handful of songs with him. Yeah! So, so even if I play a song and leave, you're not done with me yet. Anyway, this is gonna be my last song, and I'm not gonna be a total monster, I'll pay off the thing that I robbed you of earlier. Uh, final set announcements I have to make. We are on tour, and you know how this works. We have plastic and cotton-based trinkets upon which we have printed our names that we will exchange with you for valid U.S. currency. You've been to a show, you know how merch works. Come visit us at the merch table, buy stuff from everybody. We'll sign stuff, we'll take pictures. Oh my God, we'll form friendships that will last hours. <laughs> Uh, and then, uh, and then stick around. Don't go anywhere. Double clicks are up next, and then MC Lars after that. <laughs> my name is Schaefer the Dark Lord. I'm from New York City, and this is my last song. And for real this time, it's called Cat Bay yeah. This song has a little dance you can do. It goes like this. Meow, meow, meow. That's it. If you don't want to do it, no pressure. We're not going to embarrass you. This isn't Rocky Horror. But if you want to do it, it's kind of fun. I don't know. My cat people, throw your paws in the air, and then we go, yeah, yeah, that's right, yeah, yeah, and wave them all around, but do it like you care, and then we go, yeah, yeah, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, uh, 
Uh, here's kitty kitty, here's kitty kitty, here's little kitty licks a front claw, washes her rear, tickle on her wrist, a little cattle attack, grab your wrist with the front claws, kick with the back end, she can swipe like this, back off and attack her with a hit, and the kitty's moaning, owns ya, oh no, did you know there's ammonia in her piss? Let me stroke your fur, let me hear your purr, kitty cat, oh my god, you're so cute, damn it, look at that, arch your back, I flash the cat, I fight with mice, nine lives like you never die, or some are cats are less like pets than our kids. We worship them like the ancient Egyptians did. We are happy. Here we go. Yeah, yeah, yes. Right now, all the kitties in the house show the face in your mouth as you bounce on a mouse. Happy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With a little bitty claws and the little kitty paws, get down with a round of applause. Happy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good God, we're on. No drugs allowed, but we're better than we now is loud. Happy. My pussy like he wanted me, wanted me to Do you do what your cat wants you to do? Sure you do Cause our cats control our actions They run the system And our homes really belong to them We just live with them Four story cat tree stands in the corner of the home The owner holds in a laser pointer Little baggy cat is fast to attract them Most of the action attack with a scratch and Acting like a cat that is a face in the place To make a business in your lap with the rash in your face Break, hit the sack, ten hour cat now Feline to make a beeline for your lap Leave a cup home all alone Kitty's at the cat door, listen for moans Oh no, 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 by the bone of the dish Little kitty never lift and never chicken or fish Leave the ball of yarn all this yard for the breeding All my cat people in here, here in this beat are in heat We are cat people Right now, all the kitties in the house show the fangs in your mouth as you bounce on a mouse. Yeah, people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With a little mini claws and a little kitty paws, get down with a round of applause. Yeah, people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got four on, no dogs allowed, but we're proud of doing now it's loud. Yeah, people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, I'm like, I love them now. Call my bitch a little kitty, say now. Now, not all cat people belong to the same team. And what I mean is that not all of us are quite what we seem. You see, all of us inside have beating hearts that are warm. But some of us have powers into cats we transform. Under a full moon or a quarter moon or a half moon, in a bad moon, bad breath, yes, cat food like werewolves, wolves and dogs, cats that were sneaky seeking into the fog. And then we all got a little panic, but now tell me what you think of that. What? Playing with the road cats. Cats, that's a fact together in track. Track rats, play real mean, she's just a rope screen. Tree your place sweet, even leave each other clean. Ravenous animals act. A little while till we do it like a human kitty style Fighting and fucking and hunting and sleeping and breeding and eating and killing it That's what we do when we're kitties next morning we're human Laugh that we cried it was better than cat Here we go! Yeah, yeah, oh, Right now all the kitties in the house show the fangs in your mouth as you pounce on a mouse Yeah, 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 yeah. With a little bitty claws and a little kitty paws get down with a round of applause yeah, we're on, no dogs allowed, but we're better than we now with loud. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we can love them now. Shoot, let's dance like it's 2004. Do you remember this? It's a viral video from like 2004. I don't care if you don't. This is for me. Thank you very goddamn much, Columbus. We're an absolutely wonderful crowd. My name is Chief of the Dark Lord. I am from New York City. Do not go anywhere. The double clicks are up next. Good night.